Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Birmingham, England. God Flesh's 1991 release, Slave State. It's pretty much what you come to expect from God Flesh. Just awesome fucking, just electronic, killer, crushing tunes. Justin Broderick is a fucking genius, and this just once more goes on to show that Justin is no fucking joke, along with Ben Green, and I'm not sure who else was on this album, uh, P. Neville, but Slave State's sick. Like, there, you can hear a lot of, like, Pretty Hate Machine by Nine Inch Nails on here, and alongside Godflesh's self-titled EP and Street Cleaner, this is just kind of, you know, building up from Street Cleaner, but adding a lot more electronics and stuff. It's definitely cool, and it reminded me about another post-Napalm Death project, this time with Nick Bullen and uh, Mick Harris, which is Scorn Evanescence. And this is straight up electronics. Like, completely awesome though. Like, there's guitars, there's bass. The bass playing is actually magnificent by Nick Bullen, who is on the A side of Napalm Death Scum. And yeah, like, you have two dudes from Napalm Death Scum, like, the best era of Napalm Death, depending on who you talk to. I like, uh, the Lee Doran lineup, but that's a tale for a different day. But with Scorn, you have just absolutely just really pretty chill electronic music, but... On the extreme side of things, like, you know, Fear Factory was starting to come along. Before they were new metal and terrible, this is, like, before all that. This is the calm before the new metal storm hit. Like, it was when you could have electronics and guitars and, you know, it didn't sound like a rap song. Like, some of the beats on here sound hip-hop oriented. And this is a 1994 release, but the UK, like, dark dub scene was around way before the United States of America took in dub music and all that type of stuff. Like, this is just sick sounding. Like, it's in a more, it's, it's a way more electronic driven, like, version of Swans. That's kind of the vibe I got out of this, along with these dudes definitely don't like dance music, but like dance music, if that makes any sense at all, because this is not something you would want to play at a club. You know, this is some gnarly, extreme electronics here. And you do have, like, a very minimal vocal presence, which I kind of wish there were no vocals at all on here. I think it would sound a little bit better, but the vocals that, you know, Nick delivers sound sick as fuck. Like, legitimately, it's, it's really, really sick sounding and haunting at the same time. Like I said, this isn't some, you know, electronic party, you know, let's drop MDMA and dance type album. It's like a let's take some psilocybin mushrooms and fucking take a trip down the fucking rabbit hole of extremity. And Scorn is just one of those earache records bands where when you first listen to it, you're like, why is this band on earache? And then you're like, oh shit, this is dudes from Napalm Death back in the day. With, like I said, you have uh, you have Mick Harris and Nick Bullen. Nicholas James Bullen. Recorded in Birmingham, England. Birmingham, seriously, there has to be something in the water. You have Black Sabbath, Napalm Death, Godflesh, Scorn. 
I don't even know who the fuck else. I mean, off the top of my head right now, but so many sick bands. I'm not counting like Jezu and stuff like that, but this is just it, it's great. It sounds great. I'm not even the biggest fan of non-synth based electronic music. Like I love original soundtracks and stuff like that. This is just like no wave, but at the same time like there's this like vibe to it where you know they actually when they remastered this it was released with like remixes and everything like that and you can hear why when you actually listen to it like it's a legit electronic music album and it's something I didn't think I was going to enjoy and the first time I put it on I was like ah like you know this is all right like I expected something a little bit different. I got this scorn confused with a different band of the same name. But this is so sick. Like, Silver Rain Fell is probably the, it's the opening track, but also the best track on this album. Like, Falling's great as well. Days Past, Exodus, Night Tide, Slumber. Those are all great tracks, but Silver Rain Fell... Woo! That's a fucking banger right there. And it's just awesome to see, like, that two ex-members of the original Napalm Death lineup went on after Extreme Metal to electronics and, you know, thinking outside of the box of the underground, but still being part of the underground and releasing Extreme Music. Like I said, this might be electronics, but it's fucking extreme as fuck. It, it's on Earache Records, which doesn't make it fucking, you know, heavy. But when it comes to an electronic record, the, this is fucking haunting, hypnotic. Like, the beats on here, just like... Like, no matter what, you'll start, like, bobbing your head, and it's just very, very unsettling at times, and it's just, it's a cool album. It's cool just seeing these two work together again, and also, this was the last Scorn release with Nick Bullen on vocals, and just in the band in general, and it's pretty much the last good Scorn album, Evanescence. It's just fucking sick, like... Seriously, and you have James Plotkin on guitars and guitar synth, but mostly this is straight up what Swans would sound like if they just were straight up electronics, dark dub band. Because I don't know shit about dubstep and stuff like that, so I don't know the difference between dub and and dubstep and I'm not gonna act like I know but I saw that this was considered dub and you have those god flesh uh, yeah there's perfect skin dub so like there's some remixes on here and stuff like radio edits uh, remix and then a fucking dub version of a song and it's just like huh like, it, it's definitely strange, but at the same time, it's just sick sounding. And it's different. It's not like, you know, you're not waiting for that fucking drop when it's like... Bah, 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 bah. Like, watch the beginning of fucking Spring Breakers. Like, that's dubstep. This is, you know, fucking dark, bleak, nihilistic, fucking awesome electronics with ex napalm death members again just like godflesh kind of capturing that industrial vibe of birmingham england and creating something unique and special but during this time period this was right before corn self-title came out and you know Rick Rubin and all that other bullshit happened in America and all over the world, but 
You had bands that actually cared about electronics trying to make some cool ass music, like in vain of, you know, Ministry, The Mind's a Terrible Thing to Waste, and stuff like that. And, you know, there's some parts on here that remind me of Ministry. There's parts on here that sound straight up like some of those fucking Trent Reznor remixes from, like, Pretty Hate Machine. Uh, this is around the downward spiral time period. So, I really think Nine Inch Nails changed the whole entire fucking, you know, what could be mainstream when it came to music. Because, I mean, like, they had Head Like a Hole, like a single for that. And then, like, something I can never have was in the Natural Born Killer soundtrack. I think Trent even put together the actual music for the Oliver Stone film. But... Nine Inch Nails was huge, and I always feel like Godflesh should have been right next to Nine Inch Nails. They should have been touring together. And now that I've been listening to Scorn, like, a little bit more than, you know, usual, like, I really got into this after Garth was like, yeah, like, give it a listen. And then my buddy Eric was like, yo, you're gonna really like this. And I hadn't heard it legitimately. I was like, yo, I heard it before, but it's it's been a very long time. And it was long enough for me to forget that this is like straight up electronics. But with some guitar, with bass, with vocals, and with two members of Napalm Death. And, well, Napalm Death's scum error. But also, you know, fucking Mick was on a bunch of stuff, so... That doesn't count, but Nick Bullen, I, I meant, see, Mick and Nick, I think that's why they went, he goes by MJ Harris on here, so you don't get confused with Mick and Nick. So, you have MJ Harris and Nicholas James Bullen working together for the last time on a Scorn album that is Evanescence. And you just have some killer fucking electronics. Sick stuff here. Like, I just dig it. It's different. It's just fucking unsettling, too. And, you know, considering how, like, happy-sounding, you know, electronic music is now, and not all of it. I mean, you have your dark, ambient stuff, and that's more or less what this is. It's like... A dark ambient electronic release and it's badass and I think it's worth your time as a fan of extreme underground music in general it's definitely worth listening to and I'm gonna give it a 8 out of 10 I mean I'm not the biggest fan of just straight up electronics like I said I love synthesizers movie soundtracks and all that stuff but when it comes to like straight up like you know just beats and stuff like that i don't really know too much about it and that's why i i don't really like just in my head i really really dig this but i don't know if this is good when it comes to actual electronic music but like i said check out silver rain fell and if you don't like that song then just kind of put that aside and just listen to Godflesh and yeah you don't need to even go this far in the Godflesh's catalog when stuff started getting you know with remixes and all that just pretty much start with the self-titled EP Street Cleaner and if you want to work your way up I would go to the the new Godflesh material um, Decline and Fall EP and a world lit only by fire. That's some of the best God flesh material. But we we're listening to 1991's Slave State. Awesome, awesome fucking release on Earache Records as well. And uh, Relativity Records. Awesome stuff. And yeah, Scorn, Evanescence. If you like electronics, this has your name all over it. Thanks for watching, as always, fucking hails. Yeah.